Uh, what is the purpose of circumcision? Um, the best way to say it is this. We learn by object lessons, okay? Especially in a more primitive time in the unfolding of God's revelation in the Old Testament, God gave His people many, many object lessons, didn't He? I mean, just, just their whole religion was a series of object lessons. Uh, life was filled with ceremonies and ceremonies and ceremonies and ceremonies, ritual upon ritual upon ritual. There was this thing to do and that thing to do and the other thing to do, and, and this was symbolic in so many, many cases. Every, every animal that was ever sacrificed was a symbol of the ultimate sacrifice of Christ, right? Every cleansing, every washing of a pot, washing of a pan, washing of the hands, washing of the feet, every ceremonial washing they went through was a symbol of the inward washing of the heart. In the Old Testament economy, God was always giving out outward symbols to identify what He wanted to say about inward responses and inward attitudes. Now, circumcision is one of those very same things. And circumcision was a symbol of cleansing. And when a child, a baby was born uh, the eighth day, that the foreskin was removed, and it was in a way a symbol of the removal of sin from the life. In other words, God was saying to them, and you, you do it all the time, all the time, it's painful, it's bloody, and so forth and so on. Uh, and they, the picture was that what God is doing here is giving you a symbol of what He wants to do in your heart. And that's why the Bible says, circumcise your hearts, you know, cut off that which contributes to your uncleanness. Cut that off so that the outward symbol is only a sign or an indication of what God wanted done in the heart. And He makes that very clear throughout the Old Testament. Circumcise your hearts, circumcise your hearts, comes the cry of the Old Testament. And so uh, circumcision was just another one of God's symbols. And it was a very dominant one. Every child that was born went through that. And it was a, a way to constantly remind the people that there was an inner reality of cleansing that God was after. Okay, excuse me. So it was the idea of having some picture of cleansing and being cut off and not necessarily some kind of physical identification. That was sort of like... Right. It, it, anyway. it was a physical identification because of the fact that it was unique to the people of God. But it sort of came because of the cleansing issue. That's right. It was okay. a symbol of cleansing. That wasn't the main issue, the identification. No, the, the, okay. there were many main issues. Every every animal sacrifice was also an identification of a of a child of yeah. God in the Jewish era, right. uh, okay. a covenant okay. child. There were many of them. They they you know grabbed onto that, and that became the mark. Uh, I think that was more. By the time you get to the New Testament, that was more an aberration of God's intention than anything else because they had lost the meaning of it and they were just doing it and it became for them a symbol of God's blessing no matter how they lived. And so what they did was they never did bother to circumcise their hearts. They never did bother to take care of the inside. They thought themselves to be right with God based upon what they did on the outside. And that's why in Romans chapter 2, Paul says in verse 28, He is not a Jew who is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew who is one inwardly, and circumcision is of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter. See, So what they had come to was just a symbol without any meaning, without any impact. And uh, so the basic symbol was a symbol of cleansing. That's right. 